Hanson plays with a rock. And Cisco and Hanson play together. Cisco takes his toys from him. This guy, TJ, likes to drag his feather toy all over the house. His new favorite joy is going out in the morning and chasing the lizards. When I pick green beans from our garden, she always tries to steal one, and then she runs around my house playing with it. He goes uh, paddleboarding with me, and he has a life jacket with these huge goggles on. <laughs> my cat Huckleberry showers with me. He comes running when he hears the water and jumps in. I've never seen anything like it before. I went to the vet because he was showing some pain. I knew he had popping knees, but I didn't realize that it was like, a serious situation. Then the vet told me he's not gonna be able to walk if you don't have this surgery like next week. Then I, I just broke down because there's no way I could pay that much money. How do you say, no, my dog's not worth this much money? And so I asked Seattle Humane Society if they could help with just a little bit. And so they agreed to do part of the money that I needed and that guaranteed that he could have the surgery, schedule it like the next week. I was really grateful because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to have the surgery for him. Cisco's six and my daughter rescued him. Handsome's five and I've had him since he was a baby. My son was killed in 2015 and I got handsome 13 days later. My daughter did. She thought I was going to lose it. So um, handsome kept me together. Handsome was having problems using the bathroom. I got worried. thought it was a urinary tract infection. And it wasn't. It was a calcium stone buildups, just like you have a kidney stones, and, and he couldn't pass them. So they had to do emergency surgery. Hanson's on a prescription diet. To keep your dog healthy is very expensive. Way too expensive. Seattle Humane, they just step up to the plate. And if I get low on food, I call them four days ahead of time, and they put me on a delivery schedule, and they deliver it right to your door. Mo is almost four years old, and we adopted him from the Seattle Humane Society in October of 2019. Having the stress right now with taking care of my mom, He's one of my angels. I was in the, on the verge of having to surrender Mo because I could not bring him with me. It would not be safe to have him here with my mom when I first got here for her health conditions. The SPOT program was a lifeline for our family because otherwise we would not be together. It's not only comfort for the pet owners, it's comfort for the animals as well that they're providing because I know he was loved. The people that foster the animals, they're like family to these dogs. From the bottom of my heart, I, I can't imagine what I would have done without the program. Santa Mingles out the way to try to make it work, keep you guys together, keep them safe, keep them healthy, keep them playing, eating, everything. Santa Man does everything they can. I know people like want to help out with pets, and sometimes people might not know where to help an organization. I think the Seattle Humane Society is a, it's a great place to put your money. I hope your galleries is lots of money because there are many people that'll benefit from them.